Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are entering the Gnarl Wood. Yes, we have the new Gnarl Spirit Pack from the new Warhammer Underworlds Gnarl Wood box set. Sent to me early by Games Workshop to paint up and review for all of you and I am very, very excited to be painting these because I think these are amongst the most fantastic of sculpts for the new, well, for all. Warhammer Underworld stuff that we've seen so far. Just really big fan of these and the Sons of Velmon. And well, without further ado, we're going to jump in and start painting them. They have been primed in Wraithbone and we are going to be painting all four of them in this video. Now, a lot of the colours are fairly cross compatible with all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of focus on sort of the main ones. And as far as I can tell, it's these two. However, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing all of these colors at the same time across all four. And we'll be pointing them out as we go along. So you'll be able to paint all of your Null Spirit pack along with this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop these down. We're going to grab our paints. We're going to grab our brushes and then we're going to get started. So with the place we're going to start on our Null Spirit pack is with all of the black leather. And this is going to be areas such as the boots and any straps that they've got. So, for example, here on this gentleman, we've got these large straps just here. We've got this one going across the chest here. We've got this one coming across here on this trouser leg and, well, various other little things. We've got belts and stuff as well. But we're going to be painting in all of the straps using some black legion. I'm going to start with this guy here. I'm just going to load up our small layer brush here because we want to have lots of control because we've got lots of little fiddly details here that we're going to be working around. So we're just going to start painting this over the top of all of these areas just like this as well as any other areas that you want to be black. So for example on the chap with the spear we're going to paint in the spear handle with the black legion as well. But you'll see all of that when we come back for our next take. So with all of that Black Legion applied, as you can see on all of our miniatures, we've got this front side. As you can see, we did the spear here and the trousers of this uh, particular gentleman. We also, on this guy, did all of the black straps all the way around. And here, same again, black straps and the boots. And here we've got black straps and the boots. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red. And we're going to be using this, for example, on a bunch of their loincloths and things. But if you check out the box art or the product photography, you'll see that some of them have got some red placed in various different places. And we've got two different types of red. We've got like a rich burgundy and we've got the bright blood red. And that's the one we're going to be working on first is the bright blood red. Now, for example, here on this particular individual, we're going to be taking that blood angels red. And we'll be applying this over the top of this tabard like section. A little bit overzealous there with the amount of blood angels red I've got on my brush, but no worries. I'm just move that around. like that. like this, whereas on our other person of interest, we've got the straps and things holding up the skulls and stuff like that. There's a bit of extra red on these, this guy and on some of the others, but as mentioned, there's that burgundy. So we've got the wraps on his hammer 
and this kind of section at the bottom of his legs, which is also going to be that same burgundy colour. Unique to this member of the Null Spirit Pack is those trousers as pointed out before, and the colour we're going to be using for that is Flesh Terror's Red. So we're just going to get this over the top. Just like that. I'm going to bring it round here. As well. And just there. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Sigvald Burgundy and we're going to paint in all of those burgundy-esque places. So we've got a couple of ties in various different places, but the main focus here is this guy. He has the grips on the hammer. Just like this. Whereas on some of the other ones, for example, we have on our gentleman here, we have this bundle of leather. Up here. So with that done, your Null Spirit Pack should be looking something like this. They're looking pretty cool. However, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Black Templar. I'm going to use this to do a couple of different things at the same time. So we're just going to be grabbing up these three guys for the moment. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying the Black Templar over the top of their trousers. This is a different coloured trouser to the other gentleman because we want this to be a really dark grey. So we're just going to take that Black Templar on our brush I'm going to start painting it over the top. Just like that. Similarly, over here. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to move on. We're going to move on to painting in most of the long fur that they've all got scattered around. Apart from this guy, we will get to him eventually. He's really cool, but he doesn't have half the details we're talking about. So we're going to pop him to one side. And what we've got is we've got all of this hair here. We've got this here and we've got the stuff here and here and here and on these legs as well. Now the colour we're going to be using first for this is Apothecary White and we're going to be doing this over all of it. But that's not going to be the end of it because we're going to create some variation in the models. But we're just going to load up our Apothecary White for now. I'm just going to apply this over the top of all of this stuff. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Garagax Sewer. I'm going to use this to paint in the remaining leather details. Now they are only some remaining leather details here on this particular person. Got the pouch just here, a couple of straps on the leg as well. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Basilicanum Grey and we're going to use this to paint in a couple of different details on these two. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a small amount of this Basilicanum Grey 
I'm gonna use this to paint in this kind of belt area, just here. Just like this. We're also, on this particular one, going to use this Basilicanum Grey to paint in the handles of the daggers. Like that. Whereas on our other gentleman, we're going to use this Basilicanum Grey to paint in this skull. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some skeleton hoard and we're going to apply this over the top of all the remaining bones, of which there are a number of them. So for example, on here, we've got this little skull just here on the belt. Like that. We've also got the large skull up here as well. Like that. And there's one there on the shoulder as well. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start painting in the flesh. Now on this guy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Saigor Brown. I'm gonna apply this over the top of all of his exposed skin. So with that done, it's still drying at the moment, but that's okay, because we're gonna pop them to one side and we're gonna take some Fire Slayer Flesh. I'm gonna apply this over the exposed skin of the rest of our Gnarl Spirit pack. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some wild wood and we're gonna apply this to two areas. We're gonna apply it to the wood of the staff and we're gonna apply this wild wood over the top of our mask, just here. So with that wildwood also applied to this axe, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Griff Hound Orange and we're gonna apply this to this person's hair. And with that done, we're then gonna take some Agaros Dunes. I'm gonna apply that to this person's hair. So 
So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Rune Lord Brass and we're going to apply this to all of the armour across all of the Gnarl Spirit pack. Now, not all of them are wearing armour. These three are the ones that are the culprits. This one, not so much. No armour to be had in sight. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that Rune Lord Brass and we are going to apply this to, as I said, every single armour piece. Just like this. Now there is a third metallic here. If you look at your box art or your product photography, it'll look like it's all kind of the same gold, but actually the armor is just that little bit colder than any of the trim sections. And there is occasional bit of trim here and there, a little bit of decorative feature. You of course can pick these out however you like, or alternatively, you can wait for the next clip. So with that done, just before we finish off our warm metallics, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some lead belcher, and we're gonna use this to paint in all of our silver details. So for example, just here on this gentleman, we have the hammerhead, and we have his ring mail, down here as well, and as well as a couple of little chains here and there. And so with that lead belcher all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down retributor armor and we're going to use this to paint in all of our remaining metallic details. So using this guy once again as our example, we've got this bracer here little decorative areas on his war hammer. You can of course do this across any of the areas you want to be nice and warm. A little bit warmer than the Rune Lord Brass. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on our Null Spirit pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to start adding some shades. And the first one we're going to add is Reichlin Flush Shade. And we're going to be using this on all of the gold and all of the Rune Lord brass. So we're just going to load up our little brush here. We're just going to pick a place to start. And I'm going to start just down here. Just like that. So with that Reichland Flesh Shade all applied to all of those details, we're not quite done with the Rune Lord Brass just yet. We are waiting for it to dry, but what we're going to do is we're gonna take some Null Oil. I'm gonna use this to shade all of our silver details, but we're also gonna use this to shade all of the white fur. There's our ring mail. We've got a little bit of chain links here. Like that. And similarly, as mentioned, we've got all the white fur, which we're gonna apply this over the top of as well. So with that null oil all applied to all of those details, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Targor Rage Shade. We're gonna use this to shade a lot of different things. So what we're going to do is we're gonna apply this over the top of all of our red details. We're gonna apply this over the top of all of our black details. Basically all of our leather. That's the quick way of saying it. So we're gonna use this like that. We're gonna apply this over the top of all of our 
burgundy. Like so. What we're also going to do is we're going to use this to shade once again over the top of our Rune Lord brass. So we've got that warmth in there now from the right clean flesh shade. But we now want to add a little bit more depth. So what you'll see here on this armor piece, for example, it just brings in that little bit of brown over the top. Just darkening down that Rune Lord brass, just that little bit of extra. Like so. So with that all done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Fugan Orange I'm going to use this to shade this person's hair. Like this. What we're also going to do with it is we're going to pick like some of our gold details, such as you know, these, this one here on the belt. I'm going to apply this over that as well. Add a little bit more heat to some of the gold. So for example, there on that one like that. On this one here. I'm going to add some of the Fugan Orange over this boss bit here. I'm going to add some just in there like that. And like that as well. And with that done, we're then going to take some Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to apply this to this person's hair. Like that. And we're also going to pick out the occasional skull here and there. So for example, up here, we're going to shade this skull up here with the Seraphim Sepia, just like that. So with that done, our Gnarl Spirit Pack is at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. They're already looking pretty fantastic. However, we're not gonna leave them there. No, what we are in fact gonna do is we're gonna do some blending, we're gonna do some highlights, and we're gonna take them all to the next level. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some wildwood and we're going to do some blending. And I'm going to demonstrate here on this gentleman here. So, what we've got is we've got areas such as this spike or tusk. And similarly on this gentleman, we have these long spikes. And we've got this kind of tree branch up here. Same here. We've got this tree branch up here and here. And what we're going to do is we're going to be blending in some wildwood here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that wildwood on our brush and we're going to apply this to the sort of two thirds of these areas and then we're going to lift that excess off. So we take that wildwood and we're going to apply this like that over the top of the tusk. Then we're going to wash the brush, take off the excess water and then we're just going to where those two colors meet going to lift off that paint by just running the brush back and forth over that area to create this lovely fade from the skeleton horde up to the wildwood like that. I'm going to do this on both sides.
just like that. So with that all done, your Null Spirit Pack should be looking somewhat like this. But we've just got one last blend to do, and that is going to be some Black Templar. I'm going to be doing this on the large fur cloaks, so on these two here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to essentially be doing what we just did with the Wildwood, only really we're going to be taking the Black Templar from the bottom up, and then blending it out into the white at the top. So we're going to demonstrate on this one. What we're going to do is we're going to take that Black Templar on our brush, and well, what we're going to do is around about kind of this area here. We're just going to, from that height there, take that Black Templar all the way down. We're going to wash the brush, and then we're going to smooth out the transition. across all of the hair. So with that done, as you can see, there's some pretty awesome looking pelts. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a tiny little bit of Basilicanum Gray. And we're gonna paint this over the top of the fur, just down here. We just want this to be just a touch darker than what it is already. Not too much, just in tiny amounts here. You don't wanna overwhelm these details. So with that all done, our Null Spirit Pack is looking pretty fantastic. So now the blending is done. So what we're going to do is we're going to add those highlights and a couple of relayers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing some of the more kind of unique details. For example, this person's hair and this person's hair, the flesh on these three and the flesh on this guy. And then we're going to do all of our generic highlights by just focusing on one of them at a time. So the first place we're going to start is on this gentleman's flesh. And the color we're going to be using first for this is Katachan flesh. And what we're going to do we're going to thin this down on our palette just a little bit more than we would normally. And then what we're going to do is we're going to relayer this over the top of the flats of all of his muscles. Just leaving that cycle brown in the recesses where it's really settled. And with that done, we're then going to take some Night Quest to Flesh. We're going to use this to highlight all of our skin. Just going to pick out the sharpest edges and features around the face, as well as just add a little bit of a highlight around each of the muscles. So, with that done, what we're then going to do. We're going to take some Cadian Flesh Tone. I'm going to use this, much like we did with the Katachan Flesh. We're going to use this to relayer the skin on our other three individuals, just avoiding anywhere where our Fire Slayer Flesh is settled. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Flayed One Flesh. And we're going to use this to add a little highlight to all of these muscles.
So with that done, all of the flesh is finished, apart from the eyes and mouths. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Black Legion, and we're gonna use this to paint in the eyeballs of all of our Nile Spirit Pack. Like that. And any of them that have got an open mouth. We're just going to fill that in as well. I'm going to cover over the top of the teeth as well. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to pick out the teeth. as well as a little dot of it in the corner of each of the eyes. So with that done, all of our faces and all of our flesh is now finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on with the Screaming Skull for now. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our bones. So with that done, all of the bones are now finished, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Wild Rider Red. And we're going to use this to highlight all of our red details. So with that Wild Rider Red applied, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Cadian Flesh Tone. I'm gonna use this to pick out the sharpest points in all the red. With that done, all of our red and burgundy details are now finished. I'm not sure if I mentioned that you were supposed to be highlighting the burgundy at the same time. But as you can see, that's exactly what we've done here on this guy's hammer wraps. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on and we're going to take some thins down Rune Lord Brass. I'm going to use this to effectively re-layer our Rune Lord Brass armor, just avoiding anywhere where our shades have really settled. We want to just reintroduce that bit of shine in there. So with that Rune Lord brass reapplied, as you can see, we've got this lovely shiny armor now. What we're going to do we're just going to take some Retributor Armor. I'm going to very quickly apply this in much the same way to all of the gold details that are large enough to sustain this. So mostly on here, but what we're going to do is we're going to add this over the top of that shield. Well, it's not shield boss. It's a chest boss. <laughs> like that. And here on the gauntlet. So with that Retributor Armor applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Canoptic Alloy and we're going to use this to highlight both the 
Runeord Brass and the Retributor Armour. So with that done, what we're now going to do is going to move on to all of the silver. And the colour we're going to be using for this is once again Lead Belcher. And much like we've done with our other metallics, we're going to be using this to relayer all of our silver details, particularly on the weapons. Now we don't need to worry so much about this on the ring mail on this fella, but on his hammer, We've got these really nice open spaces. We want to be nice and bright. And with that done, we're then going to take some Stormhost Silver and we use this to highlight our silver details. So with all of our metallics done, it's now time to start finishing these guys off. And the way we're going to do that first is we're going to add some highlights to all of our dark black details. So this is going to be areas such as the boots, any of the black straps that we have on them, as well as this guy's trousers. So the color we're going to be using for this is Dark Reaper. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be very carefully picking out all of the folds and edges on all of these dark black details. This is everywhere that we did with the Black Legion. Right at the beginning. So with that Dark Reaper all applied, what we then do is we take some Rust Grey. We add this as our little spot highlight to all of our black details. So with that done, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Night Quester Flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight this guy's mask. So with that done, this member of the Gnarl Spirit Pack is finished. So we can pop them to one side. So what we're going to do now is move on to the others. And the first colour we're going to be using here now is Dawnstone. Now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using this to highlight all of those kind of those dark grey areas that we originally painted with just black Templar. So we're just going to add a little highlight here. like that. On this particular individual, we're going to use this to highlight the feathers and fur around the boots. And in the darkest areas on the back cloak as well. So with that Dawnstone applied, as you can see, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Administratum Grey and we're going to use this to highlight our slightly brighter greyer areas, such as the handles here on these daggers. Like that. We're going to use this to add a little bit of a spot highlight to our grey down here. Like 
like that sort of thing. And we can add a little bit of administratum gray towards the tips of the fur on the back. And this goes double for this gentleman as well. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thins down Ulthwin gray. And we're gonna use this to highlight our much brighter gray area. So for example, on this particular fighter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that Ulthwin gray on our brush. And we're gonna use this to highlight the strands on this fur pelt. Right, that sort of thing. Similarly, on these, I'm going to use this to highlight. The brighter sections. Now that the dark ones are finished. So with that Ulthwin Grey applied, these two are now finished. So we can pop them to one side. And what we have is just one last thing to do, and that is to highlight this person's hair. And the color we're gonna be using for this is Jacaro Orange. So with that done, our Gnarl Spirit Pack is now finished. They look absolutely fantastic. The only thing left to do is those bases and it is nice and simple. You can do this any way you wish. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Basilicanum Gray and Contrast Medium. I'm gonna apply this all over the stone. And with that done, I'm then going to take some Agrax Earth Shade. I'm going to apply this over the top of any bones. And with the Agrax Earth Shade applied, we then take some Wild Wood. I'm going to apply this over the top of this kind of vine slash tree branch just down here. And with that wildwood applied, we then take some Militarum Green and we apply this to the snake. So with that done, we're then gonna take some Drakenhof Nightshade. I'm gonna apply this over the top of all of the stone. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do we're going to finish off those bases before we do the rim, which you can do any color, we won't film, but we're going to finish off those bases by giving them a dry brush of Tyrant Skull.
And so, with that black applied to the base rims, the Gnarl Spirit Pack are now finished. And, Games Workshop, you got to stop teasing us. I want a Dark Oath Chieftains, Dark Oath Clans Battle Tome. I want a full Dark Oath Army. There's so much character in all of the models that we've seen so far from the Dark Oath. And I just, I get so excited every time I get to get my hands on them. I just really, really love these. These are really, really cool. Very nice, very nice opposite the Sons of Velmorn. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.